Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Sound Supply, your weekly, that's right, your weekly podcast, everything commercial audio video in the industry. I'm your host, Eric Huber, product specialist here at TOA. Good to be here, good week. And uh, we have a very exciting topic, actually, one of the more exciting ones, that is artificial intelligence in video conferencing. So... This is great to see. We have a lot of companies here jumping on board with with things they already have out there that they're improving on. You know, all benefits for the end user, all benefits for the customer. It makes things easier. It makes life you know life easier than it is uh, utilizing technology to make things better. And web conferencing is a very important way on how we communicate on a daily basis with our team members, with our family, with our friends, and. Um, you know, we're, just, we're growing with it. It's, it's a growing technology and it's getting better and better. So let's dig into it. Uh, before we actually dig into it, I do want to mention a couple of things. Uh, podcast, Sound Supply, every single week, Facebook, YouTube. Um, we're using a, a service as well, Anchor, I believe. If you guys just want audio only, you can jam out in your car to us. Um, and then we're doing a live webinar every single month towards the end of the month where it's going to be myself along with some team members that we're bringing in and um we bring people from around the industry and we talk about audio video and anything that that'll benefit you guys out there uh market trends current products new products new gear new ideas new solutions the list goes on all right let's dig into it here we go so uh if some of you guys are gamers out there which some may like myself uh have heard of the company nvidia Huge company. They deal with graphic processing, so video, and um, uh, you know, improving video on this standpoint is huge. And they're using AI, so artificial intelligence. And, and essentially, in a nutshell, that's going to mean simplicity, ease of use for the end user. So it's going to give you the best experience with with the less tweaking or the less digging and adjusting and fine tuning and, and things that are very nitpicky and unfamiliar to, you know, the end user and the non-professional. And that's, that's what this is geared towards. So, and, and, you know, it's, it's, it's good for integrators and installers that, you know, that go in there, drop the solution and bang, you know, this stuff can learn with the end user over time. And that's what AI does. It literally takes in information based on past conferences or past use experience, in this case, web conferencing, and improves on that. It sends data back to the company, and this is um, this is what they could, you know, before you actually utilize these tools, you'd have to agree, agree to those things, but anonymous activity back to the company where they can improve based on your use case scenario. And um, it's fantastic. So the technology by NVIDIA is called Maxine. Uh, another name out there, like a lot of these companies use for AI, Alexa, uh, I think Google is just Google Siri for Apple, right? So it's very familiar to the, to the end user and it's very comfortable, right? And that's why it's, uh, it's marketed that way. All right. So NVIDIA calls it Maxine. What is Maxine? Like I said before, it's an AI solution for strictly, strictly for web conferencing, streaming, things of that nature. And uh, where it really shines is the actual uh, video quality. And and what they want to do here um, is use consumer grade products, you know, 360p webcams, 720p webcams, and increase the quality of that hardware with software, with AI. So no longer will you be restricted to the, to the hardware you actually have. For example, in the video that they show, the example that they show, um, they go from 360p to 720p. And, and you know, years ago, you were restricted to 360. That was it. But if you guys watch that video, you can see the increase in quality is it's a night and day. It looks it looks fantastic. It looks great. Uh, another big one. So that's called super resolution, and that's a virtual way of an, improving resolution on the fly. Another one is virtual background. So as you guys can see, I'm in my room. I don't mind showing my room. Um, there's a lot of people out there that, that don't want to see or don't want you to see or the world to see their interior of their home. So uh, virtual background technology. I know a colleague of mine likes to use the beach of the Bahamas 
Uh, I've seen restaurant, fake restaurant interiors. You know, at first it was kind of like cheesy, I guess, but now it's, it, it looks like you're there almost. So very cool technology. Definitely utilize it. If you're, you know, not comfortable, which I'm sure the majority of people are not comfortable showing their interior of their homes. And that's where most of us are working out of anyway. Another um, awesome feature is auto framing technology. So this is good if you're if you're a presenter, if you're moving around the room, and you have a stationary webcam, and you want to have a, you know a nice fixed focus on yourself without like zooming all the way back and you know getting out of frame. So you know the uh, your stationary webcam will now have the ability to almost auto paint a uh, pan, excuse me, uh, to make sure that you are in the center of the frame, which is great, which is fantastic. Another one is AI avatar. So now you don't have to physically be on screen. You can use an avatar in, in NVIDIA's case here. They're using an alien as the physical presenter, which is pretty funny. Uh, I'm sure you can use whatever you want, you know, going forward. So that's pretty cool. That, that might be a cool thing for, you know, if you have young kids and you're communicating overseas or, or you know, if you're communicating across the country and you want to play around with them, you can change your avatar and, and be silly like that. Uh, another big one is video compression. So now you have the ability of using much lower bandwidth, and this is this ties into audio as well, um, without having a huge quality reduction. So you can stream at 1080p consistently with a very low bandwidth, or or you know 720 or even higher resolutions. Uh, I don't know if you noticed when you use YouTube or a streaming service, if you're on audio auto that auto resolution is dependent on your bandwidth. So if you notice, you you know, you shoot up a video on your 4K TV and it's only outputting in 720p, well, YouTube thinks that 720 is the highest quality resolution based on the bandwidth in your home. And a lot of our homes are not set up for professional bandwidth usage. These are large uploads or, or when, when you're streaming, when you're conferencing, you're uploading data to the net, which is then being transmitted. So upload speeds are, are really huge. And a lot of us, a lot of us, including myself, um, I don't have the greatest upload speed in the world, but I want to be able to give you guys the best quality out there uh, in terms of, you know, video presentations and whatnot. So video compression and being able to compress that data into the smallest form factor possible without reducing quality is a very, very important feature. NVIDIA is doing that. And last but not least is denoising. Well, this one's very cool. If you guys watch this video and it ties in our Lanubio products and our web conferencing products and beam steering, where you can set the depth of field or the depth of the record distance from the source, you know, to the back. Uh, in the video, NVIDIA uses some children in the background she clicks on denoise, boom, children are gone. Insane. I think that's huge. And um, I don't know if it's available as of yet, but with Lanubio, you're able to do this right away. And maybe you weren't aware of that, but it has beam steering technology and you're able to set the recording depth. For example, um, from my desk to the, to the Lanubio banner back here is about six feet. If I mark it off at five feet, which is to the end of this bed here, Anything beyond that, it's not going to pick up. And that's what NVIDIA's denoise is doing, but it's doing it for you automatically. And that's that's the key feature here. But you know, and, and our products, our web conferencing products are designed for simplicity. It's one piece, boom, boom, you're good to go. Uh, and setup is very, very simple. But it's capable of doing that preset per room or per fixed basis or an installation basis. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but these are very, very exciting, exciting technologies coming to our marketplace. And I just, you know, it's just great to see um, improvements, especially on software where, you know, you don't have to go out and buy new gear. You can click a link, get a download, boom, it pops into your hardware and you're good to go. You have a almost a, a brand new piece of technology without physically having it there, which is which is just amazing. And I'm glad companies and other companies are getting on the uh, the bandwagon, excuse me, and 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 pushing those things out and utilizing those tools. It's just a great thing to see. All right, so a couple key points on you know how you can improve web conferencing today based on what you currently have. Uh 
if you guys are out there and you're using Zoom, Teams, anything with a settings dialog where you can play with a couple things, I recommend going into the settings and make sure you're using things like noise suppression, feedback suppression, um, noise control, background noise control, a lot of clicking on the keyboards. Uh, there's tools out there that reduce all that noise. And this is for, you know coming from an audio standpoint. There's also HD improvement where um, it might soften your face, where it improves the quality, but not the actual, you know, or, or degrades the quality based on the resolution. Um, there's little things in each software solutions settings that can increase your web conferencing conferencing experience based on what you currently have. So go in there. It's, it's, it's for the end user. It's not going to mess anything up, play with a couple things, test it out with a team member, um, with a family member and see what works best for you. So I definitely encourage that. Uh, other things you could do is use sound dampers. So if you're in a room that's very reverb prone or like a kitchen or a bathroom, you want to stay away from those places. Um, you can use things like pillows, blankets, towels. If you have a carpet or a carpeted room, you know, I, I recommend you do that. Um, you want to reduce the echo as much as possible being in the home. You're not going to have a room typically set up for, you know, sound dampening and things like that. So do the best you can, but know that, um, hardwood floors, um, where, you know, objects that don't absorb sound it's going to be a problem. It's going to be very echoey and reverbery. That's a word, um, you know, for those, for those, those calls that you're going to get. So try to stay away from those rooms if you can. And then, um, use a headset. I'm not using one currently. I am using a direct injection microphone, which goes into an audio interface, which is the cleanest solution. Um, I'm not conferencing, so there's no output coming out, which is fine. So that's why I don't have a headset on. If I was in a, a live chat meeting, I might put a headset on to reduce that feedback loop. But then again, um, software is great today. A lot of times you don't have to do that. But if you want the cleanest, the cleanest audio in and out, um, you're going to want to use a I.O. solution other than your computer's you know, internal microphone and output speaker uh, to directly get analog audio into the digital realm. Um, this is where our Lanubio comes in, which is a digital IO device. It's an audio interface. So you're going to want to utilize something like that, which gives you a clean in out cycle. You're good to go. No feedback. None of that. Just clean audio. You don't have to worry about it. It's beautiful. So keep that in mind. Um, and then again, if you guys want, you know, the best experience possible, uh, you're going to want to make sure that these devices or, or, or your room or, or wherever you guys are at, your environments are set up professionally and, um, you know, make the best out of that. So like I said, guys, um, if you are the newbie owners, if you guys are web conferencing, um, no, it doesn't have AI installed in it, but it could do the things on an audio standpoint, like denoise, uh, for example, that NVIDIA is doing. You just, you would set a boundary, essentially a virtual boundary where the Lanubio will not pick up beyond a certain point. And that's fantastic. Um, as time gets on and on and on, you know, we are always working to improve and, th and that's going to be a potential solution there where it gets much easier for the person that's actually using it. Um, but going back to AI, I think it's a great idea. You know, it's going to get better and better and better as time goes on. And, and the ability for software to kind of learn on its own and make adjustments on the flies, you know, on the fly, excuse me, is just, Absolutely amazing. So, um, guys, technology, especially in web conferencing, in our industry, there's companies out there, including ourselves, that are working every single day to get better and better and better to deliver you guys the best possible experience out there. And with technology, you know, why is technology a point? Because it makes our what we do on a daily basis easier. That's why technology exists, and it makes it better. So. Uh, Keep your eyes open. I encourage you guys to watch this video. It's an awesome video. It's only about a minute and 30 seconds. It's going to show you exactly what uh, Maxine, NVIDIA Maxine offers. Um, I encourage you guys to go out there and browse around. There's a lot of solutions out there that uh, will improve web conferencing as it is today. You can grab these tools, please. Um, if you guys have Lanubios out there, if you're looking to get one, give us a call. If you guys are having any issues with your audio pickup or IO regarding Lanubio or an AM1 or any web conferencing type of gear that you're integrating TOA wise, we would love to help. Give us a call. We'll be on the other line. Shoot us an email. Uh, if you guys have any questions regarding this podcast, use the chat below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that come through. And uh, 
you know, be on the lookout for the webinar coming up at the end of the month. Make sure you're signed up. And as uh, as always, we are producing a podcast once a week involving a new technology and any solutions that we have in the audio video commercial industry. Guys, thanks again. Enjoy your week. We will see you next time. Take care.